all right hi guys welcome back to my channel it's Kiera Lanise and today we are going over how to make eggplant parmesan I know it's been a while since I've been on my channel but it's been a pretty crazy summer I've been moving and adjusting and working more so we're just taking it day a day at a time and so I started off here with two um, eggplants one was like a medium size one one was smaller and I just cut them into like maybe quarter inch slices and then lined them up on a baking sheet um, I put the paper towel down first and then I sprinkled salt on them because you kind of want to get all the moisture out of the eggplant before you fry them or bake them so you want them to be crispy um, and then I maybe let the salt sit for maybe about 10-15 minutes and then you kind of want to plot the eggplant dry with another paper towel so they're not um, like super wet or um, moist when you try and cook them up. So I'm pretty much just still cleaning off the eggplant here. Um, I'm lining up the eggplants as I go. Okay, so you can see after applying the salt, the eggplant um, was still wet, so I had to pat the eggplant dry. So you want to make sure that you do that so it's not um, moist when you're trying to fry up or bake the eggplant so it has some crispiness to it after, um, after the breading. And so that's what I'm going to keep doing here. And then it led to me toasting the breadcrumbs. I mixed the breadcrumbs and the panko um, crumbs. Um, I toasted them with some Italian seasoning in a uh, non-stick pan with a little bit of coconut oil. And so here we're going to use three eggs and about a quarter cup of milk um, mixed really well to use as the dipping batter for the eggplant. So after our breadcrumbs are all toasted, we're going to go in the pattern of breading our eggplant, which is flour, um, putting it in the egg coating and then in the breadcrumbs and putting them on a lined uh, baking sheet um, lined with aluminum foil. And then you're just going to keep repeating this step until all of your slices are coated.
great so now that they are all all of the eggplant slices are all coated we are going to bake them so what I ended up doing I ended up sprinkling a little bit of olive oil and coconut oil on each of the slices of the eggplant I just like the taste of coconut oil but I wanted them to be crispy as they baked in the oven I didn't want to fry them um, so then after I put a little bit of the oil on each of the slices we baked them in the oven for about 45 minutes at 350 degrees and flipped them um, halfway through Okay, so now I am cutting up my onions. I think that fresh vegetables taste way better in meals. So fresh onions, bell peppers, um, cilantro, anything just fresh and natural, I just think tastes more authentic, tastes better to me. Um, sometimes you can use, you know, frozen vegetables that you find in a frozen produce uh, section at your grocery store. Um, they're probably like a dollar, so they cost less. And also you can get um, more meals out of whatever you know whatever is you're making so if you had a bag of frozen onions you can probably get a few meals out of you know whatever you're making um, so they can last longer but to me fresh vegetables for most meals just taste better now if you're saving you know time saving money frozen vegetables are a way to go um, but I also put bell peppers onions in here fresh basil and then the tomato sauce that I added was the Centro um, crushed tomato puree and so it's really just crushed up tomatoes um, that I put in here. Pretty much put it on simmer, put in Italian seasoning, season it up really well, and then let it pretty much come to a slow boil like a simmer.
Now as our sauce is finishing up, I'm getting to my favorite part which is preparing to layer the eggplant. Um, I put a little bit of olive oil in my pan and then kind of spread it around. Um, just getting ready to layer all of the eggplant slices. The new thing I tried was the black bean spaghetti. Now originally for me I know for chicken parmesan you layer it over noodles. When I was looking up eggplant parmesan and recipes and different variations of it, it didn't really have, it wasn't based on a plate of noodles. So when you make this meal you can make it either with noodles or without. Personally your preference, I like pasta. Um, but since I've been trying to watch the carbs and the sugars in my diet, I thought that the black bean pasta would have been a good alternative and I can still get protein and other nutrients because I like eating black beans or I'll make black beans a part of my regular diet. And so I was trying to try something different. The black bean spaghetti was okay. The texture is kind of grainy and different, but I guess that's expected because it's a bean. Um, it doesn't take that long to boil like you boil water and then put it in for maybe like five to seven minutes and then you drain it um, Even after draining it, it was still kind of wet and soggy, which is one of the reasons why I didn't like it. So I wouldn't suggest um, It being like a regular part of like my family's meals But if it's something different you want to try you want to get your protein still and you don't want to try the carby carby regular um, pastas it is a good alternative and something different so here I am just layering my eggplant slices so I put my sauce down first um, and then each eggs eggplant slice so you have three up top three across the bottom I kind of cut one in half and um, put those little smaller sections in the middle um, layer some of the sauce and um, some Parmesan cheese now the sauce is not super um, saucy or like watery or runny it is very thick you could make your sauce um, a lot soupier if you want or to stretch it out I didn't want mine to be super um, soupy or saucy I liked it thicker it came out really good to me but everyone has their preferences so if you want you could add more water or less tomato paste um, if you want it and this is what the black bean spaghetti looked like you know after it's been boiling for like five minutes so you're going to just keep continuing to layer um, the eggplant in that order eggplant sauce cheese eggplant sauce cheese pretty much um, until you have the entire pan filled or when you're done with all of your slices Okay, so now I am finishing up by just putting the sauce on top and I put sliced mozzarella cheese on them on each um, eggplant slice and then I baked it in the oven for about um, I want it to like 35 to 40 minutes just until the meat I mean just until the cheese started melting and getting a little um, bubbly and brown um, so the cheese wasn't too burnt it was on 350 and then I took it out and then here I'm just putting on fresh parsley and um, it was just fresh parsley actually. 
and so this is the end of my video guys thank you guys for sticking around let me know if you like eggplant if you tried eggplant this is my third time eating eggplant like I tried it once in high school and I was like and eh, this is okay but it's more of like a meaty vegetable like it's not like a regular I guess tasting kind of vegetable like vegetables you kind of think like greeny leaves or potatoes and eggplant is kind of like a hearty vegetable and then I made um an eggplant um, lasagna before which was actually pretty good I used a meat sauce and it had Italian sausage in there that stuff was good and then this was my third time and this is actually my first time making eggplant parmesan so let me know if you guys like this recipe if you guys are going to try it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know how you guys like this recipe and if you guys are going to try it and how it turns out. Alright guys, thanks again and I'll catch you on my next one.